We have an indisputable exclusive. This is one of those stories that will make your blood boil and have you wondering why are we so heartless in this nation. Let's put up the picture for a mask. Alabama family is homeless due to an eviction. The family in Mobile, Alabama were evicted after allegedly making attempts, multiple attempts, at settling the debt owed. Dorothy Gaines on the right reached out to us to convey the struggle that her granddaughter Taylor and her daughter-in-law Mary Helmick have been going through with the apartment management. And place apartments is where Mary and Taylor lived prior to their eviction in January. The complex evicted the family due to non-payment after Mary had to assist her granddaughter with a recurring medical issue. Life happens and life was lifing at this time. According to Dorothy Gaines, her grandmother Taylor in late June of 2023, Taylor started to experience severe mental health episodes that would require constant supervision. These episodes would also cause Taylor to be hospitalized for weeks at a time. Taylor lived in a single income household with her mother, Mary, who would have uh, have to take unpaid time off from work in order to accompany her daughter to her trips to the hospital. Thus, Mary's income was adversely affected as a result of this. She had to be the caregiver. Dorothy would further elaborate on how Mary would assist Taylor during an interview. So basically, um, it wasn't just taken to the hospital. She would have to accompany her for long periods of time. It's not all the time like it's in the hospital, but you have never seen a person with these. I don't know if you have, but it's the thing where you have to watch them and it affects the person that's with them because you got to be alert. And a lot of times that she had to sleep in the living room because they want her to go out. They don't want her to go out the door, I believe that's what it means. Um, it's just things that brought on a lot of stuff and a lot of stress. After getting behind on bills on August 15th, Mayor was served an eviction notice. Dorothy claims that she, uh, that the same day, her daughter-in-law's vehicle was also repossessed. That is the document for non-payment. It was at that point where Dorothy found out about their financial troubles and tried to give aid. So Dorothy told us, quote, when I talked to management, I said, I want to pay the money. She said, I would have to talk to the attorney. She gave me the attorney's name and phone number. And I called the attorney. I said, I'm trying to get up the money, the amount of money. I want the I want the amount of money so I can get the people that they are willing to pay her rent because it's all because of my granddaughter being sick. So she's attempting to make a good faith payment. The attorney, quote, the attorney told me that he had to get in touch with his client and find out how much the money would be if they was willing to take the money. I kept waiting on him to get back with me, but in turn, her mother, which is my daughter-in-law, had told him because she wasn't able to talk to anybody, she gave everybody my name and number that I can handle the business for her. So Dorothy would reach out for aid to help settle the daughter-in-law's debt. Quote, I reached out to the city of Mobile. I reached out to our councilman here because he said the city of Mobile had money to help. He kept waiting on me to get back with him uh, to let him know the amount. Mobile Community Action had money to help another, uh, help another organization. Taylor and I are the member um, where we go. It's called the National Council for Women. And I reached out to a guy that a relative, a relative guy that plays pro football. So all these people, they were waiting, willing to help stop this problem. But we kept waiting for the amount, meaning the apartment complex is supposed to cite how much is owed and how much is owed will then be paid. Multiple groups are saying, I will pay, I will pay, I will pay, I will pay. The initial conversation with management according to the story was, hey, we understand you want to pay. You simply have to call the attorney and go through the attorney. That's already odd, by the way. Okay, so 
Um, let's put it up. So Dorothy had advocated for the family by obtaining letters of support also, both from the hospital, Taylor had received treatment, as well as the center of fair housing. After they looked into it, they agreed. They agreed. The family deserves a break, allow them to affix a remedy to this problem. Okay, don't evict them. After a period of waiting, the lawyer informed them that his client did not want the money. Nope, don't want it. And wanted to pursue the eviction. So the case went to court October 12th. The judge eventually sided with the apartment complex and Mayor and her daughter were ordered to vacate on January 1st. That is your district court of Mobile order. That's Alabama. According to the court documents, District Judge Jennifer Wright oversaw the case. That is Judge Wright, who oversaw this eviction case. Since the eviction, a GoFundMe has been started to help support them through this time. Per the GoFundMe, Taylor's a senior in high school and has already been accepted to the University of South Alabama, but she still needs to graduate this year. Her bright future is threatened because of the eviction and the instability it has created in her life. I want you to help Dorothy Gaines and the family avoid homelessness. Um, this never should have happened. Once they had the money, once organizations were willing to step in, once there was an actual narrative understood by everybody, you come back to the table, reassess and say, you know what? We're gonna accept the money. We're gonna move forward together. We're gonna work this out. You can't be that heartless. Let's put up the GoFundMe again. Now, because of the heartlessness, seemingly heartlessness of this apartment complex and management company, um, we have to do this story. Um, please make sure you donate if you can to stabilize this family. So Ann's Place, that's the name of the complex. They have not responded to our request for comments at this time. According to Hollywood's website, Holly Hands um, website, Ann's place is currently listed as one of their property offerings. All right. Um, we're just waiting for somebody to get back in touch with us to give us a statement or possibly an update. Uh, but in the meantime, we are going to ask the village, that's you, um, to do what you can to help this family who will provide the update very soon. All right. 